we dealing with up. Uh, Hit us up at Media Cartel Mix Show at all places, devices, informations, every place that you need to go. Whether it's IG, whether it's Facebook, whether it's Fan Burst, whether it's uh, YouTube, whether it's at Rip's uh, Studio, if you want a sound beat, it, it don't matter. Hit us up, we'll get with you. That's how you find us. Media Cartel Mix Show at gmail.com. Get it in, and we're going to get it going. We're going to jump on in here. Dave Chappelle. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. is doing something for T.I.'s upcoming Dime Trap album. Wonder what that might be. Hmm. He's, he's scheduled to, he's supposed to, you know, he uh, T.I., just in case you guys don't know, uh, put out the Dime Trap, uh, excuse me, put out the, was it the nickel? Damn, I done lost it. He put out a mixtape uh, a, a while back, and I want to say it was the, it was called the nickel nickel bag or something. Mm. Just a small mixtape. The new one coming out is the dime dime trap, you know, <laughs> going nickel bags, ten dollar bag. Yeah. So uh uh it, it's slated that uh Dave Chappelle will be doing uh narrating and commentating on there. It's probably gonna be like the little skits and inside jokes and all that good stuff. Not necessarily comedy comedy, but you know, but just giving a, a different flavor. It's scheduled to come out early September. So you get your dime bag real soon from the one and only Trap Master himself, the creator of trap music, Mr. Mm. T to the motherfucking I. Yeah, I guess he's still trying. You can still put the P on the end. <clears throat> yeah, Is it going to be some hits on them? I, I, I appreciated the nickel bag. It, I, ga- I, I think it, it I, gave you a, a, enough, not enough to get Nah, nah, I, th- I think he's... I think he, I think he still got potential to do a hit because he he, he does have he gets cold and then he'll come out with one hit and then he be cold again, right? And and Dro do the same shit, yeah. So I would like to see a Ti Young Dro comp uh comp uh compilation, yeah, yeah, yeah. And I, I think they would be able to come out with a a hit. Um, also, uh, short was a good song. Which one? Show it right. off the off the Zaytoven album. Off the album. Zaytoven album, yeah. See, see, that's what I'm saying. Now that was that was that was that that's a, that's a good one. You bring up a good point. It's like he has he has the ability yeah. to and he don't have the all he don't have the he hadn't had any years where he just the whole album be hot. He just comes out when he, every now and then he drops a hit. Right, and it's almost like is a uh, I don't know if it's because he's behind the grand hustle and and is he he's not signed label wise so it's almost like he's he he already has his hustle in so many things it's almost like if you don't know it's there you don't know it's there until it's either got that much rotation well i can say some of the 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 songs he come up with he might have a concept for them but it's not real put together yeah the hooks aren't real they just Right, it's, it's not. It don't seem like he put much effort into it. Just like, well, Ti, I can do the hook. It's gonna be. They gonna like it anyway. It, 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 yeah. Whereas it showed me where you can tell they told me went in there and put his magic in the end. Right. And then you know it got it's different a, parts yeah. to the hook and it made right, it catchy. Exactly. Yeah, it made it. It made it catchy. It, whereas when Ti does it on his own, he just yeah does it himself. And it's, maybe he need to get some better in house. Yeah, uh, and the producers. same and the same thing like ball. Like you say, the producer went in and did they made the hook more exciting and it, and it was a hit. Right. Same thing with the, when he did the track with with the white girl with the um, uh, Ziggy. Iggy. Yeah, Iggy, Iggy. Yeah, see. Yeah. yeah. So it was like he just need to have a producer who's got a good eye, ear for um, right for for his style of track. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. All right. That's what's up. Instead of just laying it down. Um, what about Beyonce? You heard about Beyonce, right? What, what B doing now? Uh, she's getting sued. What? They dared to sue the B? Yeah. What's she getting sued for, man? Uh, because she refused to listen to our podcast. Nah. <laughs> uh, she's getting oh, su- that's already been served in one. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Nah, she's getting sued. Nah, she love our podcast. She's yeah. getting sued because uh, her ex, uh, ex drummer, mm-hmm. which is a, a female, right, is suing her for, at, or was trying to put a rich. Was putting a rest- her name is Kimberly Thompson, uh-huh. and she's putting a restraining order against the two, trying to. 
Mm-hmm. She says, Beyonce it uses extreme witchcraft. A uh, what? Extreme witchcraft. Wow. Okay. She says, Beyonce, she suffered from those. She suffered from magic spells of sexual molestation and, <laughs> and manipulation and be, and also Beyonce murdered her pet kitten. Mm. Okay. Um, the sh- okay. Well, I, well, those are some strong allegations. Um, mm. I hate if those allegations are true and or that they may come to the light. I do have compassion and and, and empathy for for the, for the young lady. Um, oh, they're gonna say the cat. <laughs> uh, <laughs> these 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 things are to be taken, not to be taken lightly. Um, if Beyonce is, for whatever shape, fashion, or form, practicing bewitching activities, uh, was she not able to allure her way self away from that? And if she couldn't how all of a sudden she's able to do it now and file a lawsuit. I don't know, I guess because she's been replaced as the or the yeah. or Beyonce no le- no longer uses a drummer. Yeah. No, she she well well the Coachella thing she but my whole point is, you know, maybe she's marching to a different drummer's beat. Exactly. Yeah, so that, that's a, that's what you I'm saying. You have a drum roll for that one? No. <laughs> okay. Coming right. soon. <laughs> it's like coming soon. Uh, that yeah. that's what I'm saying. So. That sounds like the the bottom line to the story. All the other stuff, to me, and it mm. is just me, my opinion, not anybody else's. Sounds like it's a bunch of hocus pocus, and you know the bottom line is she's no longer drumming to the same beat, and she's probably upset about that. And yeah, but uh, maybe she's trying to throw that in because what's the group Peter? Pia, the pet people, you know, they, they'll, they'll jump behind anything. So she's trying to get them to rally yeah, on the side, yeah, mm-hmm. you know, because what the, okay. Anyway, we're going to move on. We're going to go from cats to dogs. Uh-huh. And not necessarily a real dog, but a member of the dog pound, Daz Dillinger, was uh, recently arrested in Atlanta. Well, excuse me, I'm saying Atlanta, but it was in Georgia for marijuana possession. I thought Georgia... Uh, jumped on board with the uh, marijuana and medicinal. I think they're supposed to be uh, you a ticket or something now. Right. Well, he was he was allegedly busted with a bunch of weed. Well, that's a different story. <laughs> they, yeah. uh, the ticket, is, I think, it's like an ounce or less or something uh, okay. like that. Well, not well. Okay. Well, yeah. This is a as as the article. We're not talking about trafficking. Yeah. Like, you know, the they're, art- not, they're not giving tickets for that. <laughs> like, they're like, nah, Nick, we said a little bit, nah. Yeah, yeah. And, and not trying to supply Maybe we should have had it in different cars. A little right, exactly. <laughs> and, and as the article nicely puts it, had a bunch of weed. Not a lot, a bunch of weed uh, yeah. in his Georgia home. So I'm going, hmm. Now, uh... I'm trying to just, I guess because... Well, it's in his home. I mean, they, they had been watching him. He's doing something more than Yeah, so, you know, uh, he was he was re- arrested around midnight uh, in a... I think it's a place... It says Powder Springs. I'm not familiar. With. It says nah, about 20... Know, it says about 20 miles outside of ATL, outside of Atlanta. Everything's 20 minutes from it, Exactly. You know, I, yeah. So I don't know where that's at, though. Yeah, that's... I guess it was in Cushville or somewhere like that. Let me <laughs> On the other side of getting stoned mountain. All right, then. These jokes are just running all damn day. Anyway, the whole point is, uh, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm like you. It's, there had to be a reason. Oh, here it is. As I read more, the cops found a total of uh, 117 grams of marijuana in his residential home. No, that's not that much. Yeah, I was getting ready to say, that's not that much. That's what, about well, that's less than a pound. How the fuck they get a bunch? Well, you know, they go, you know, insatiable everything. Less than a pound is way less than a pound. Not even two ounces. Yeah, so. Yeah, this is, no, out. Oh, okay, let's not do our drug map. Anyway, we're going to move on with the story. And uh, so, needless to say, uh, he had uh, 10 uh, THC pouches, uh, THC oil, THC 
Vaporized. Oh, uh, then he had more than something. Yeah, vaporizer that much in weed. Uh, oh, then he had more more than if he had all that the oil, the dapping oil, and all that shit. Um, uh, this nigga was all in. Now, see, this is this is what I don't understand. Uh, it's saying that his home studio label can't. I guess they're just saying cannabis uh, lean. I thought they were saying he he's a he has a what do you call that he's a cannabis you know how you have a strain of uh weed and stuff mhm I, I don't know what you would call those cuz you no longer call those drug dealers uh they they're called legalized cannabis owner like corrupt which is his partner he has his own strain of weed yeah, but it probably has to be in California. It's not legal in right, and, and that's what that's that's what I was wondering if if it was hey, if I still got if I still have that and it's my product and I just happen to be yeah, having it. Work. That's not no, work it's not gonna work. No, it's not gonna work. Okay. State. I mean, you said he had a hundred cents, so that's like almost that's over four. That's really over four ounces. But yeah. then he got all the oils and all of them. I don't know. A bottle of them could have been like. A bottle of that dapping oil and all the other shit, that could have been another 5 to 10 ounces, 20 ounces. I don't tell how big the bottle was. Altogether, 12 counts of uh, possession of a controlled substance uh, and one count of possession of more than one ounce of marijuana. And my man had to put up 15 k for bond, which is... I, I, I just don't understand how these marijuana laws, if they go... But either way it go. So that's that. Um, did you watch the uh, Bill Clinton? Bill Clinton, excuse me. Bill Cosby sentencing. No, nah, I didn't. But I heard, you know, of course, the nigga seen it and heard about it. So, uh, and, and the nigga, <laughs> and old girl still sexy with them dreads though. Whatever she did, but, I, I didn't didn't see it nor publicist or whatever. Uh-huh. But uh, uh, some props to her, even though he got convicted. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> but <laughs> she's after your ass right now for the, the, <laughs> saying that. He just. Verbally assaulted. Oh man! Mm-hmm. Um, don't forget that Ozzy and that's lost no, DJ no, no. Ozzy Oz. Do it. <laughs> no, uh, um, see, um, not she, um, but he. They, they guess what he guess what he's having for dinner. I mean, for dinner today. What's that? Uh, for some reason, they've been, they've been describing like his meals. So everybody's mm-hmm. been talking about it. He's, get, he's getting Jello today. Jello put. Yeah, they and then his, yesterday was, was his first date. For he got a uh, he got pudding. Don't know if it's Jello pudding, but he got pudding. This is not pudding. You get to give me Jello pudding. <laughs> yeah, the right shit up. I'm gonna be locked up for a while. You so tra- trade so that it, shit if you don't eat it. <laughs> right, goddamn it, yeah. Uh, so they're trying. Did they or uh, they were trying to send it to him last? I heard it was. Uh, oh, they did. Three, three to five, three to ten. Yeah, he's already in prison. They already right. done moved. Uh, and Dean, and I think they him moved him. Him. Usually, you, you you sit in jail for a minute, but they already done moved him to a prison. Now, what kind of is it, what kind of prison is this going to be? Ah, uh, he's in uh the one of the newest prison they built in what is it Philadelphia or Pennsylvania, wherever it is. Mm. One of the P's. One of the yeah. And uh, the, the, but they say he might not be there long anyway. But it's the newest one they got. Mm-hmm. Um, high tech security, uh, in the cell by itself. All right, and he's right next to the. Uh, they put him right next to the medical. Oh, okay. well, you know, he got like yeah, because he is. Uh, yeah, yeah. So he just walked down. The, it's right next though. They got in right. the medical facility, so he's right. Yeah, next he can to cut him. through his bathroom and then just go to the nurse <laughs> nurse station. Yeah, that's right. Okay. Now, so we're trying. We're trying to make a light of it, but nobody wishes. You know. Death and OJ. Yeah, not even OJ. Because they, yeah. they caught OJ playing golf. Right. They ran up on him. And <laughs> <laughs> he almost got stabbed. They, I mean, they shot the shit out. He was putting his golf clubs in his cart. And, yeah. And one of them, one the one shotgun. Of them, Paul got Rossi rolled on him. And he was like, what the? Yeah, <laughs> He's like, boy, boy you almost got stabbed. About to get it, boy. You about to get it. <laughs> and then OJ thought they was going to fuck with him about some shit. But they asked him about uh, Cosby. And he was like, oh, okay. Yeah, I'll talk to you about <laughs> yeah, that. I'll talk to you about that. And Those they talk about me. So yeah. Mm-hmm. Now I don't know if you caught a, 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 a hold of this rumor, mm-hmm. uh, and, and that's why I say it because I, I did not see the report. I had heard it's a rumor that Nicki Minaj, and this is snowballing into something else. Mm-hmm. But uh, Nicki Minaj 
gave Future kind of what we do. The uh, yes, the the ultimatum. Huh? Well, I'm saying ultimatum. Gave Future the choice. Mm-hmm. Of what? Not getting on Cardi B's. Uh, oh, that has to do with some fucking. No, 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 no. <laughs> Look at you. Uh, but is it? Dip. Have you seen like the the recent pictures of Nicki Minaj? Is it me? I mean, well, I know she was kind of weird. Mm-hmm. But isn't that like that? You can tell like it's kind of she's kind of going like Little Kim. Remember how Little Kim used to be fine? Just like you know that plastic surgery. Yeah, shit? She, and then she's now she looks weird. Yeah. You kind of can see this shit happening to her now. It's kind of yeah. looking weird. Yeah, exactly. It's I, like, what the fuck is happening to you? Yeah, it, well, it's, it's called age and gravity. I mean, yeah. it's still fine, but it, you can tell it's, it's looking getting, like... yeah, it's getting it's over... Because she's getting older, and you can tell right. that, that shit that she did, she was fuck, it's starting to fuck with you. She right. didn't do that to you. It's like that fine, but it's like, ooh, is that... Hold on. She... Yeah, I, well... You can see the beginning stages of Right, saying. exactly. You can, you can start... And you kind of look... It reminds you of how little Kim started to... The meltdown. And I, that, that's what I seen. I was like, oh, shit. She started to like little kid when I was a little kid. That she, mm-hmm. that you could see, like, you could tell what is going. She's starting to melt down. Mm-hmm. But it was said that she she uh, she uh told Future, hey, he could either get on tour with her, mm-hmm. which he is, and or, uh, and, and told him if he does get on that, what was it, the drip, a dip, the drip uh track, that she wouldn't let him go on tour. Had you heard any rumor about that? No, I haven't Cause heard. Because the, 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 the track, the track is old, and the end up Migos is on it. So well, I, they got another song, new song called Drip. But I'm just saying, it, oh, okay, it, 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 it's not um future. Um, what I meant to say is I ain't heard nothing about the future thing. But uh, uh, what else? Damn, I forgot what I was gonna say. A little mm. blank, blank mind, brain freeze. Uh. I, but I don't see I don't see that as being a no brainer because one, uh, her tour has already got canceled. But she's not calling it canceled. She's calling it pro- detoured, pro- po- postponed, postponed. Right. I mean, but we all know it's because of low ticket sales. Mm, I don't say yeah. Okay. And now she says she's starting at the European instead. So R- right. Future so. already can't make all the dates. Oh, okay. So it's like I don't see he, he, he probably thinking like we probably we probably never will do a one, right? Hmm. Well, because he's already got stuff, you know, because he's already got the, yeah. other two dates. So it's like right, it go with so you know, I remember she already said it when she had a European that she wasn't gonna have future on every shop because she gonna have to right sub to with somebody else. Yeah, yeah the, he, a bunch of the Euro, yeah, European people shit. and stuff also. That you know, artists is in big pop. People over yeah, there. and European don't start right now. Start, I think, kind of a couple months. So I'm right. saying, Future was already having had future dates. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Uh, okay. I'm sorry. Well, yeah, uh, but either way, well, you go. I did that, not hear that conversation, but I'm not surprised. Either it, it, that, that would be some petty shit, though, just because. But it 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 it, it the, the, the between Cardi B and, and the thing, but it's not like her and Remy. You like we want to hear verses. I don't. I don't think anybody wants to hear verses between her no, no, and no. Cardi B. No, no, definitely no. not from Cardi B. And no. definitely not from her at the at the Remy d- 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 body. There. Yeah, so it's like nobody wants to hear that. Maybe somebody do, but no, we nobody wants to hear. It. Right, but I don't want to hear it. I can't we will have to see. That. We will rather see video of them fighting or right. fucking. What the other? The one or the other. We don't want to hear no no verses. No verses. No no, no. tracks. No bomb tracks. Nah. Either Only gonna, tracks I want to see is tracks getting pulled out. Either you want to release the video, you're fighting <laughs> or fucking. Yeah, either. tracks getting pulled out. That, that's yeah. a, that's what tracks I want to see. <laughs> Yeah, fighting or fucking. Right. Call, you, you fighting or fucking pulling out tracks. But, uh, mm-hmm. Wow. We don't want to see nothing else. Well, uh, that is quite interesting. Um, and that would probably be, if they did fuck, and that would probably beat the Kim, Gard- Kim Kardashian and Ray J tape on, 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. on Vivid. Yeah. That would take Vivid to a whole, whole new, new vision. And yeah. Vivid. Has it now turned it to vision? Mm. Like, how you copyrighted that? God damn it, because we got <laughs> yeah. two of the hottest bitches in the rap game. Yeah, yeah. Spitting, not lyrics, but spitting. <laughs> okay. And, and, and your boy, uh, your boy, which you love to call, you, you call him 45. Who that? Agent Orange. Oh, goodness. Yeah, 45. Yeah. How, mm. you, how, how, how you think about him getting laughed at? But all the countries laughing at him. Oh, so you say laughing at us. Yeah, laughing at us. I don't even think it's at us. It's just laughing it's more, at us. Yeah, it is it's more like, of this him. Ass. Like, this idiot. <laughs> this stupid ass. Yeah. 
Uh, I mean, of course, it it, it has a, a a pending because unfortunately he is the the person as a lime head front. But uh, you know, on, on the second side of it, like you say, I think it's more so it's him that they're laughing at, not necessarily mm-hmm. us as a nation. So, but <laughs> that's that's your commander in chief. And then the, then the. The, the what is the dude he tried to put as a Supreme Court judge? He fucking everybody, ain't he? I ain't hear about that one. What's that? Well, I mean, he's got like they supposed to be testifying today. Oh, right? okay, that guy. Okay, I thought it was somebody else. I'm like, no, whoa, no, 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 the, the yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> uh, okay, yeah, yeah. He, he, yeah birds of feather flock, flock together. together. He's ah. Grabbing the pussy, he, 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 and he beating it up. I be but according uh, to him, he uh, was a version. Uh, he was a forty-year-old uh, version. Right, exactly. That's I don't know why he came out and said that. Because the movie, you know, that was a good cover-up. I'm just waiting for the bitch to come out and be like, "Okay, you know, we got a love child together." Right, exactly. <laughs> Some shit about, yeah. You do know your child is uh, <laughs> yeah. 19, 20 yeah. years old. Yeah, he said some shit that he, he said like he stepped on lamb landmine when he, he said, said that, that one. Yeah, yeah. You, oh, and then the yearbook was pretty incriminating. <laughs> Sound like you were fucking or thinking about fucking in that yeah. book. Something. Mm, you know. never know. Yeah, it sounded like he stepped on the landmine when he said he tried to go to Virgin Rule. Wow. Now, uh, why is the hip hop has went to a whole different era? Definitely. Because now we have rap beefs such as Cardi B and Nicki Minaj. Well, it's not just it's not just hip hop. It's all music. And then we have rap beefs like. Uh, you know, uh, 50 Cent and Ja Rule way back in the day. Well, it is official that the two white boys in hip-hop are beefing and going back and forth. What has hip-hop came to? I don't know. I don't even pay attention to them. But I've I seen that for like the last three or four weeks. Yeah. I didn't even pay attention to that shit. Eminem and, and, and I didn't even Mac care. Miller. I didn't, I didn't even care. I've seen all that shit. Yeah. I, didn't, I, I, didn't, I, don't, I don't think people who are really into, not rap music, but into hip-hop music, I think they probably pay attention to that shit, but it's I, I just, don't care. It's just funny. Nah, it's not even funny. It's, even, <laughs> it's unrelated to us. I, was like, I don't even pay attention to it. It's just funny. It just was noise. See the two white noise on my feet. Noise. Boy, the two white boys going at each other. Talking um, about hip, hop, hippie, hip. Okay, let me stop. But it's not just even hip hop. Even, um, even, even music in total. It's just, it's just, it's, it's about the character. It's not, it's not so much about your music. Right, you got to be a character. Right, I mean, you could just do one song and 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 have one hot song, and then the rest just be assholes and do characters and trolling and just do a bunch of internet shit and be popular than a motherfucker. Right, just to just to come at people. Who is that? And uh, speaking of that, why has Soldier Boy been so quiet? What the fuck is we going said that on? last time? I know. I mean, he's, like, he's the godfather of that in that right, shit. He's, he's just, for those kids. He's he's getting older. He's just chilling, man. I don't understand why. I, left, I did see one thing. He said he bought a Subway. Oh, really? Okay. Trying to eat fresh, huh? Um, you know, some people call him bluff and shit, lying, but. Right, now, he, yeah, he he will do that sometime, too. Well, with Subway, is the easiest franchise ever to buy. They're real cheap, and they do give them to everybody. Right. Well, I mean, everybody got to eat fresh. I don't know. He I'm thinking about opening up a, a, a Subway. And you, we're gonna, it's you, very possible. You can get it. And have it open, you know, in their slogan, uh, the late night. The problem is location. You just need a good location. Open late night. Right next to the club, nigga. You, I'm saying you need to be able to get a good location. That's what I'm saying. We're you gonna definitely get, can get you a subway. We're going to get it next to the club. And they don't have, to, they don't have like, the they don't have the restrictions like a lot of, uh, a lot of, uh, like, like, they don't. You have look, to go strip. Like, you don't have to have a high credit score and all that. Right. They, they, all that. They try, they try to can, work. Can we uh, can banking? We, they they will. You can do it on your own. You don't have to have big banking backing and all that shit. They will right. do that. They don't. And they expect you have a certain amount of training. They don't do that. No, plus, we, they don't have the footage thing. Like if you want to McDonald's, you got. Yeah, they have so many square and plus footage. They parking, the, and plus, they want to own the land. Own and land all that and you want to do that? You right. can rent a building. And, right now, can can we alter the menu a little bit? No, no, they want us to do that. Okay, because see, I, I wanted to. Sub- that, that that is where they 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 draw the line. No, that's where the dictator shit comes in. Mm-hmm. Um, and that's why a lot of people have a lot of not a lot of people, but a lot of franchisees have had problems with them because because I want I want my subway to eat fresh. They're, they're not able to make as much money as they think they would because subway controls the the menu so tightly, and then right. they, a lot of problem have fine with those five dollar subs. 
Yeah. So, because, yeah, I, I would want something like, you know, being in the hood. And you I, do want have a chicken, to, and I want a chicken wing sub and not just the, uh, nah, you know, the, the, and, the, the and, and, and then I do know chicken and cheese. And, and I do know what they said. Grits and French, eggs French cheese said they just did say <laughs> was the killer was the olives. Because they're so expensive? Yeah, the olives would give you. Motherfuckers don't know how much black olives, olives are coming. expensive. Well, oh, I mean, you yeah. paying, you paying them subway for them olives. You're not, right, but I'm just yeah, saying yeah, olives yeah. just in and general. Then you got a fat bitch coming in. Extra, extra, yeah, extra, extra olives. Extra. <laughs> give them one, too. Extra, that is extra. <laughs> yeah. You have to pay for that, but okay. Yeah. So I, I can't have a, a you know a, a subway that sells uh, chicken wings and things. No, man, they already been through that. I'm just saying, well, well, do I need to, can I just get the Subway and have a slash? You know how you had a two, how Kentucky Fried Chicken has the, uh, no, has the Taco Bell. No, those, two, to, those, no. those are the same corporation. They're all part of Yummy Corporation. Right, so I'm just Subway saying, can I. not a part of that. I can't have them both. They're not part of that corporation. Man, you're not working with me, man. You I'm not me. You don't see my vision. I don't give a damn if you open You're working up, against me, bro. I don't give a damn if you open up a split Kentucky and so I can't listen. Niggas a, a Kentucky, Georgia, goddamn. It's them. Shit, I mean, I'm pretty sure they're going to have issues with it. Oh, man. See, but I, I thought you was on my side. Man. I mean, all the A&W, all of them are part of the same corporation. Right. Okay. Yummy food. Mmm, good. I think you added that part, but. Oh, okay, yeah, I did. <laughs> uh, What else you got on your feed over there, man? Uh... Nah, they did, a, even though they did arrest Bill Cosby, they did let that kidnapper with the name Justin Shiner, they let him go. Why would they do that? Well, I, I got to say, a lot of people said it was racist, unfair, but I got to say he did take a plea deal where Bill Cosby did not take a plea deal. Mm. Um, and he was under house arrest for a year, so they sentenced him to two years with a year with, with suspended yes, sentence, yes, yes. so he walked out of courtroom free the other day. Wow! Uh, but being him taking the plea, his he had to to what you call it? What do you call it? Contant? Uh, mm. You have to stand up and say what you did, how you did it, and recant. Yeah, you, you have to basically re say. Yeah, the yeah. stuff live and, and not to, just. He, and he you don't have to apologize, but you had to say that you did it. Yeah, and he, but he apologized and he was sorry. Blah blah blah. And the, the victims do get to testify during right. the sentencing hearing and whatever. Blah, they blah, get blah. to curse him out and, and yeah, yeah, which they none of them could do that in Bill Cosby because he didn't, he didn't, right? He didn't take a plea deal. He didn't. He just got beat at trial. He didn't confess to anything. Right. He didn't so, confess to it. Yeah. I guess it's two different things. So, but the judge yeah. did approve the deal and. I don't know. Some people say it was racist. Some people say it's not. I don't know. Yeah. It, it, you can look at it multi multiple ways. But uh, uh, the, the, That Georgia homeless couple, they still have returned that damn mi missing homeless man money. Are they missing in action now? Uh, I think one. Of, I think the rest of the husband and let the woman go. Yeah, that's the last I had heard. Yeah. See, see how they do us? Mm-hmm. Not not just in general. Uh, did you hear that uh, Cardi B, if we go back to Cardi B, mm -hmm. be headlining on the halftime show for the football game? I just said it might be. Yeah. I mean, we don't know for sure. But I knew I know that a lot of people mad, like, because it's in Atlanta. They want them to be a hip-hop act, like Outkast, something like right. that. Right. I thought it would been, that would have been nice. That would be, be very But good. I knew that wasn't going to happen. I knew they didn't stand a chance at all. I knew they weren't even going to pick uh, not even a hip-hop act, mm -hmm. a, a black singer. No, 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 no Usher. Or... No, I knew that wasn't. No, no TLC. Not. No, because it's too close to the to the controversy of the the, the, the kneeling shit. And the, and then that Kaepernick ad just made it flare all up again. So it, I knew they would definitely not, because the what happened they did with Beyonce. She did the the did the did the did the, 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 the power. They don't want yeah, that shit again. People, yeah. So they know somebody that they pick whoever they put is going to have to do it and going to do something worse. So how do you defuse that bomb? You put some nilly milly white group that nobody hadn't heard from Maroon Five in a while, so you right, put exactly. them there because uh, they done ran through all the good. Lady Gaga, all the ones, all the ones that are doing it, like so now they on Maroon Five. Right. Not that they're bad, but I'm just saying they're yeah. not. They're not on that status. I'm right, not, exactly. You no, know, they they doing a good filler, not a fill in. Yeah, they, nobody asked for them. Yeah, 
No, even white people probably don't want to see <laughs> yeah. it. Yeah. Maroon Five, right? But they done ran through all the white acts, all right? And so, of course, and so what they'll do is they'll do okay, we'll let Hardy, Cardi B do a halftime thing, and by mm-hmm. her, I mean not halftime, but do a little segment. But by doing the segment, she doesn't have freedom or choice of how the stage design or how to do it. She has to work with Maroon Five, right? Because it's not her show, right? See, so that's the way you control a nigga. So. Has a it's all, it's all, they, they're not getting away with they, they think they're being smarter, but not getting away. just like they just like just not. I'm saying another thing that they football are trying to do that you probably ain't noticed that them rich crackers are trying to do. What's that? You know, like like dudes on the Dallas Cowboys, whatever they like, you know, he raced them off. He don't want, want to do all the banning of the knee shit and all of us. You know, he were calling the players slaves and shit. Mm-hmm. Uh, another thing he want to do right for the football, he wants to extend the football season. Wow. By three weeks. Mm. Now, I'm going to see how many people picked up on that. You know why he wants to do that? No, why? Think about it. Why would he want to extend the football season after all these years after three weeks? I don't know. Think cause... hard. Now, who who does this rich cracker hang around? Other rich crackers that own other teams, football teams, NBA teams. If he extended by three weeks, wouldn't that fuck with the big three? Uh, Ice Cube's big three. You see what I'm saying? First uh, year on TV. They're getting momentum. Okay. Black person is, is uh, rising. Okay. And the big three goes right to the end of football season. Oh, okay. See, see, what, I, I, see what I'm saying? We me, just had the big three. So if you extend it by three weeks, it now you're trying to fuck, you fucking with the big three. Right. You, you bumping yeah, it in. See? So it's the NBA people getting them, hey, man, they getting too big for us. Right. Maybe we'll use you to fuck with them. Right. See? See? Okay. That's how they do that shit. I, I bet nobody really picked up on that shit but me. Yeah, I I, I didn't mainly because I don't know sports. First time I heard that shit, I don't really know sports either, but I picked no, up I'm just on saying game. I, I, I don't know. Game recognized game. I, I don't know the, the time. time you know, no motherfuckers in their little secret club smoking expensive cigars, drinking right. and shit. How can we get rid of this nigga Ice Cube? Right. And this shit. Because, you know, it's like they ain't want Diddy coming in there getting the team. When the, mm-hmm. the fuck, they don't want Ice Cube starting. So Ice Cube went, so, okay, you want to let me in? I start I my, my own, own shit. Mm-hmm. Shit. Right. Shit's been doing good. Mm-hmm. First year on TV, big success. Yep. What you think? Come on now. Okay. NBA scared. All right. That's a, that's, that's a good theory. What, what do they call that? Uh, 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 you got a little conspiracy theory going on. Mm-hmm. But yeah, it, it, it lines up. Mm-hmm. No, I don't think that he'll take away from the NBA because he's not designed to take away, take, take, I mean, to take over the NBA. But he'll take away from the NBA, mm-hmm. not take over. But they don't want that, right? Mm-hmm. Plus, they don't want he's black. They don't want that in there. Exactly. So that's, that's the main thing. That's the main thing. Mm-hmm. Because then once he do it, other black people could do other things, other sports. You know, he said that. Yeah, they're gonna start some nigga football teams and then <laughs> leagues. And you, you know how they deal talking and drinking. Right, right, right. Not a game go. Do you uh? Do you watch the Netflix uh, documentary uh, Remastered? No, nah, what's that? Uh, it's, a, it's a Netflix, uh, you know, how they have their own programming. Yep. But it's a Netflix show called Remastered, uh, and it's uh, they do a bunch of different artists, and, and every showcase is of a different artist and journey. So it, sometimes they may do, like, uh, Mr. Ripper and Ozzy Oz mm. podcast versus when uh, podcast first began. They, some, most of the time, it's it's <laughs> it's it's a flashback of old back, and new. Back, we were just talking on the phone, talking about doing some shit. Yeah, you know, <laughs> uh, a flashback of old and new. Well, mm. the newest one that's coming up. Uh, oh, I know that. In a, so basically, we need to start recording this so when we get famous, they can use all that footage. Right. Yeah. Exactly. And, yeah. We, we definitely need to keep it documented. You know, so they can go and download it from Fan Burst mm-hmm. and uh, just uh, go to Media Cartel Mix Show and Fan Burst. You know what I'm saying? For when we get famous and they want to do a remaster, want to do one of for us. Right. We should have some documented footage. We should footage. have some documented footage. Yeah. Yeah. That, we, we, we're going to advance and finally get the cameras in the studio and stuff, you know. But, uh, yeah, we're we going to get to it. But You know, the, like, like like when they did the Whitney thing. They had he, she had footage of her backstage on Bobby playing. You know shit we never seen before. Yeah, man. shit that you normally that, not go. We ain't got none of that. Yeah, well, not yet. Yet is the operable word. Yet, 
I mean, they, they see right now. I mean, we get on, they're not, they're not gonna believe we was once two little skinny niggas in the, in, in, in the hole in the wall studio hustling. Which them? They just, they just gonna see two fat dudes, you I, know, getting a bunch of money. <laughs> they ain't I'm, gonna believe. I'm gonna always be this skinny. Yeah. <laughs> they ain't gonna believe. <laughs> Well, okay. What's the so remastered? I need to look. Uh, I need to look this shit up. It's, it's, yeah, remastered. Uh, Netflix puts it out as a documentary. But so they the got new, different artists. So the, the newest one that's coming out. I ain't uh, heard. I ain't heard of this. In uh first part of October, it's going to be the uh, Bob Marley. Uh, oh hell the yeah! The Bob Marley Bob assassin. Marley. Uh, you know the person uh, assassinating uh, Bob Marley. Oh yeah, uh, I, I already know about it. But I definitely uh, attempt it. and also they're going to combine it with the Jam Master Jay's murder. No. Uh, it's not gonna be that good. They can combine it. So I mean, no, I'm happen. saying it's not like gonna be a long. I'm in the thing. Yeah, it's like it, Bob Marley. They, you, need, they, you need like damn near four hours. I mean, that dude' life was yeah. amazing. Yeah. So I mean, but what it is is they, they're trying to put the association of the in all areas. In, it's not all, like yeah. one area. Yeah. So that's, that's that's why they always kind of yeah. do. No, I'm saying KFC Bob Marley. That, that's like a thing. that's a person. If you watch anybody watch the documentary on him, and they did like complete doc, not not focus on one thing, but focus on. All aspects of life, mm -hmm. there's no part that you could get bored. I mean, right. this dude did every he did it all. Mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> did a little bit of everything. Yeah, he, he was all around. He was in the area. He, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, like, mm -hmm. like you say, the the first part of the episode, uh, who shot the sheriff? Of course, is the Bob Marley oh, part. Good. Yeah, that's, uh, good. that's a good. You know, name of the it. of the seven, assassination attempt, right? Yeah. The assassination attempt. You know how, how it's been said that the you know the politicians and the yeah. CIA and, and yeah. stuff had the involvement in in it and uh, of course. Uh, following the reggae legend, you know. Mm -hmm. And then of course the other other part of it, you know, is with the Jam Master Jam. I just lost the little title that they yeah, that they, they have for that. But they still no final kill. But uh, Trick Daddy has the episode in November. So so uh, this is the first season. I don't know if it's the first season. I, I, I've, I, never, I've heard, seen, I, never, I never heard I've of it. seen it, and I wa I started watching well, if you've one seen or it, two of them. If you've seen it, it's not the first season. No, no, I mean, well, it can oh, still be the... Oh, you're saying it already started. I thought you said it started in October. No, 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 no. This, the one that's coming up for Who so Shot the Shepherd. They do them all in a season. They do them, like, once a month. They put a couple out a month. Once okay. again, I can't tell you that. I've just seen one or two of them. Well, now I got some shit to Google. <laughs> now I got some. Now I got I some never, shit to I've never look heard at. Of shit, so I know. I guess yeah, I it's called remastered. I I watched the one I watched was uh, oh gosh because I was like, it did when I looked at it. It had a few episodes, yeah. so maybe it is a whole season. And I just chose to watch one, and I end up uh, not finishing the uh, the 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 episode. But it was an old old school. I think it was like Nas and somebody else. Nah, well I knew you keep my head so, out, out the pussy. Now nah, I got the got some shit to Google. <laughs> that nigga said I got something remastered, and it comes on Netflix. And then watch. I got something to Google. Then watch. I'm gonna say and watch. Yeah. So you you can get the whole series, and then we'll we'll binge watch, and we'll have a whole bunch of stuff to report to you. Okay. Um, New York, Chicago, New York. Okay, I'm sorry. Yeah, uh, they've been having problems. Oh, really? Been having problems? Uh, nasty train people. Oh, goodness. <laughs> have, you, have you experienced any nasty train people? Yes, I have on on the Chicago. Chicago. On the L. Haven't, been to, haven't been to New York in a while. But, yeah, Chicago, yes, I have. Yeah, uh, that's what there have been re lots of reports of. People mm. are just getting tired of it. There's plenty of nasty train people. People from uh, doing stuff like I uh, seen lady was shaving her legs okay. on the train. Mm. Uh, just doing crazy stuff. Wow, that's uh... toenails, everything, just making guacamole, just just doing all kind of nasty shit. Goodness, that just sounds gross. Yeah, that shaving the leg thing. I mean, she had it all like yeah, you... foam and all. It was weird. She was getting it in, huh? Yeah, just leaving the shit there. Mm. Wow. Like you know how the razor get full of the shit, right? Exactly. And then it's, uh, mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, all kind of shit. Wow. <laughs> Spin phlegm and all kind. Of, yeah. Ugh. Yeah. Nasty There's some shit. nasty shit that goes on. Yeah, some people they have to. They try to think I don't know they should make those things should be new laws or some regulations, but there's some nasty people on the trains mm -hmm. these days. Yes, very much so. 
So if you see something real nasty, y'all email us and let us know what's it's the nastiest thing you see. Mm, send it to Rip. Uh, he can just tell me about it from there. Uh, to our email. We got an email. Yeah, yeah. But I'm saying address it when you Attention, send it to, yeah. Mr. Rip. Me- media, media Cartel Mix Show. At gmail.com. At gmail. Attention and, Ripper. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Attention, Mr. Ripper. This mm. that nasty shit. He right gonna be on. like, he gonna be like, oh yeah, this a fine bitch just busting it open. Oh, oh no, no, they want you to bust that open. Not not a big sword. No. Okay. Come on, man. You ever, what about say you ever had sex on the train? Would I? Have you? No, I would no, no. Would you? No. Not a, <laughs> not <laughs> no, on a Chicago no, train. No, no, no. No, uh, no, and hell no. No, no, uh, what was that shit? The movie. What was that? Now nah, I would have it like on the a, movie with uh the dude he's old now. Um, Trains, planes, and automobiles. Nah, the dude uh from Mission Impossible. Uh, Tom, uh, Cruise. Uh, Tom Cruise. Yeah, it was uh, uh something business movie. It was a movie back when he was a little kid. He had him. Oh, nah, a train like that. I'm thinking. No, I'm of... saying they had sex. It was Chicago. They had sex in the train. Oh, really? Oh, okay, I think that was Chicago train. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I do remember that, that movie. movie. Uh, damn, I can't you know, remember it. Right, exactly. That's why, that's why I said no Yeah, problem. it was late, like, late midnight train something ride. Something business or something. Strictly business, I think it was. Something. Yeah, because it's not unusual business. I think it was strict, strictly business. Strictly business. Anyway, yeah, I know what you're yeah. talking about now. Yeah, you know, no talk. Uh, n- nah, nah, because, uh, yeah, just like you say, the subway trains is always. Nah, I got to admit, that was back in. The 80s, 80s yeah. So I'm pretty sure those, the, these same trains are from the 80s. Yeah. So those trains were probably a lot the, newer. Yeah, probably the same seat <laughs> yeah, from the yeah, 80s, yeah, for yeah, real. Yeah, so the, that's the, a lot of older now. Yeah, a lot of, lot of yeah. Mm, nah, okay. So no no train action. No train action. Not that type of train action. Anyway. Oh, but regular train. Yeah, Amtrak <laughs> train. Not that yeah. type of train yeah, action. Not, oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, I couldn't tell uh, my business. Uh, 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 L- like an Amtrak, and you had a personal cabin. I think I have. I think I have one. I'm trying to think. Uh, I have not. I've rode on one, but uh, have not had the pleasure of, you know. Uh, no, nah, I like riding on Amtraks in the day train. Right. I would do that than fly. Seem, it just seemed more fun. Uh, it takes longer, but takes, more fun. Yeah, yeah. More fun though. Um, that means that's to me. I guess it's all what you like. Right. And um. What about airplane? You do the airplane sex? Yes. Mile High Club. Mm-hmm. So what's the train club? The little, I mean, the Am, not the city train, but the the damn track train and other train. What is, it, what, what is that called? The, if that's the High Mile High Club, what's that? The Long Mile Club? I guess. Long Road. The Come rail, on, ride the rail the train road club. And the rail. Uh, I don't. Uh, the Choo Choo. The, the Smokestack Club. Yeah, yeah exactly. <laughs> yeah. Smokestack Club. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But yeah. But yeah, it, it would have to be something like that, not just like a public access train or subway type thing. Okay. Uh, didn't watch the interview. Mm-hmm. Uh, but for some reason, and you may have some insight, uh, Kevin Hart and... Um, no, I didn't watch that shit either. Yeah, uh, your girl... Uh, what's her name? Uh, yeah, uh, the black chick. <laughs> Tiffany Haddon. <laughs> yeah, yes. Tiffany, my bad. And they, they get on the breakfast club and just go off on it. everybody else, uh, I guess, like. Yeah, I seen it, but I didn't get into it. I, I guess a lot of shit, I just, I just kind of annoyed sometimes. Right. I figured you would watch it anyway. I, I did not watch so it. So I kind of annoyed, I guess. I, 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 I was, guess neither one of us did our job this week. Right, right, well, you know. I was kind of hoping you watched it because I didn't want to see it. <laughs> oh, so you want to leave it on me? I, 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 I just, yeah, I didn't, I didn't really anyway, care about that nonsense, yeah. so I didn't watch it. So I know you usually be up on that type of shit. Yeah. So I was like, you like the petty, so I was like, I don't handle. like the petty. yeah, you like the petty. So I, you, no, I just, re- I report, I will report the petty. That's what I'm saying. I, 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 I figured, I was hoping you would be the one because nah, I, I left it up to you. Yeah, and I, I do know there was some shit about there was about that Cat Williams shit, which I still don't know about. You don't know about? I didn't, yeah, exactly. I didn't follow along with that. And then I do know somebody else. Uh, what's the name? The white dude, Gary Owens. Right. I know he put in his two comments, two, two cents, in about Tiffany said she wasn't that funny. Which I do Dude, agree I with agree him because yeah. we talked about that the week before. Right. I said that we both agree. So, uh, yeah, and, and and you you hit it hit the how they say the hammer hit right on the nail. She's a better 
actor comedian. Yeah, I would have seen. I would have seen her in some in some and rather movie Kevin or TV Hart shit, as a stand up. But I do not want to watch. I wouldn't pay, or I do not want to watch in a, a stand up comedy. Right. I mean, that's just my opinion, personal opinion. I mean, everybody else like it. I mean, right. And he said the same shit I said. Mm-hmm. But if she in some shit, I watched like, Kevin Hart. Uh, I'm getting kind of tired of him in his movie shit because he's doing the same shit. But yeah, rather I, see him yeah. do stand up. Then yeah, I would have seen him do stand up than a fucking then movie. Then and I said movie. that last week. I yeah, exactly. Seen, I would have seen him do stand up than exactly, a fucking movie now. I was like, I was like, yeah, he hit it right on the nail. Yeah, I mean, mm-hmm. I don't know how y'all. You, what about night school? Is you interested in seeing that? Uh, I will watch it. I'm not. I, would you pay? You're not going. I'm definitely not paying. I would watch it. I'm not, so, paying, I'm uh, not paying to go to movies. I mean, I might watch it. Somebody got it on a DVD or whatever, or on, on Netflix or something. But I'm you, not going. You still pay to go to the movies? Oh, I'm I forgot not, where. It is. Okay, I'm not going to the movies. <laughs> you know what I'm saying, I'm not. Me and chick right now. I'm not going to the movies with her to see that. I'll watch it. I'm like, bitch, pick something else. No, if she's gonna pay, I'll watch it still. No, I ain't sitting through that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, nah. I'm not sitting through that. Yeah, no, nah, no, nah, I, I would. Cause I mean, it, it appears to have a funny content, and I, I can nah, see I'm it being. Yeah, I would I, rather I, I, I would rather me. an action movie, but or something. I, you know. I just don't see it for me, so you <clears throat> would. But I'm just saying for me, yeah. I don't. I don't see like something I would sit through. Mm-hmm. Wow. It would have to be like fucking, which it has been hot in Florida. It would be hot as fuck for me to. Just damn, it, I need to go to escape. I don't see me sitting through that shit though. Hmm. Well, a man deported from the U.S. six times. This, this is your crazy shit? No, not even crazy. Just crazy is how, how, how your, your buddy uh, 46, 45 want to always be on that bullshit. But slipping through the cracks. But he's been deported six times. Mm-hmm. I mean, what's surprising about and, that? And now he's arrested uh, because he beat up a homeless man. And he beat the man to death. Now they want to prosecute him and send him to the full effect of of, uh, of the lawism. You know, I'm just using words. But my whole point is, how did this man make it back over here the other five times if he got deported? Easy. I mean, the same way he got the so, border not secure. I mean, so if nothing's that, in, impenetrable right. or whatever the word so, is. So, yeah, impenetrable. Yes, that this is true. But that's my whole point is. Six times, yeah. so it's like it's after more, the first. It's playing more Mexicans or mm-hmm. uh, uh, Salvador, Salvador, whatever, yeah. El Salvador, whatever, whatever yeah. from El Salvador, whatever they yeah. call him. But but I'm just going Salvadorian. Uh, uh, apparently, he was he was the loose cannon, and and it finally they're finally now going. Okay, we're not going to extradite his ass this time. We gonna uh, oh yeah, because he killed somebody. I mean yeah, he, I mean that makes sense. Just like the the one that killed the white girl, right? I mean, it happens. I mean, we know why they started stopping getting over because a lot of, I mean, you go you, any place you gonna get good. You gonna get the good with the bad. I mean, that's just not saying all Mexicans and El Salvador people are bad. Just you mm-hmm. gonna get the good with the bad. Anywhere you go, right? Like good and bad American people. Yeah, everybody from uh, South Miami is. Uh, not- that's why I kind of funny when I hear something on the news and they'll be like, somebody escaped from the prison or something or or. Or somebody get arrested next door to him, or, or just in the area where there any white people. It was like, oh, I, I'm surprised. I, I, I was walking around with a killer. I'm like, bitch, you walk around with killers every, every day. day. Yeah, You're exactly. Like, bitch, just because they got him, that, you know how many people you, you can live next door to a killer. That is, what are you talking right. about? That's, they have a falsehood of, of life. Right. <laughs> and then when you kind of shatter that glass, it kind of just goes over. Yeah. All rifing them. It's like, is that how white people? Because black people don't think like that. Yeah, no, that, that's that's a uh, that's a Caucasian. Yeah, they have the same train of thought, same false, and that's why they ignore the shit about black people getting killed by the police. And shit, false, they safe, secu- uh, safe false security. Yeah, and they ignore sense that of security. Shit because yeah, they're like, well, he probably deserved it or whatever. They, right. they tell themselves some kind of lie that, until it happens to them. Yeah, exactly. Well, don't necessarily have a a, a funny and or a. a um, one, but crazy it's shit. crazy shit. But this one is would be crazy shit. Is I'm gonna just call it as a close call. Mm-hmm. A boy falls from the tenth floor, mm-hmm. but his neighbor happens to be uh, Spider Man. <laughs> right, exactly. <laughs> uh, pretty much, you could say that he was uh, on the floor on his balcony, right, right up under him when the boy slips over the balcony and was holding on for dear life, and happens to uh, was able to catch the 
the young man and pull him into his balcony. Mm-hmm. Uh, so that was he only fell one floor instead of nine more floors to to his death. So uh, luckily the the neighbor was out on the balcony, whether he was watering the plants or or hitting the blunt or whatever, and happened to see the young man damn near about to <laughs> yeah and, and, <laughs> and end up like that on the ground. Yeah. So luckily he was there to you know pull him by the legs and yeah. he, he suffered minor minor inter- injuries, but uh. It's better than the the ultimate death of, of ten floors and end up sounding like a yeah yeah um well my crazy shit I got a couple crazy shit I mean it's 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 life um North Virginia I mean you eat a lot of produce right right what do you like broccoli carrots, broccoli carrots squash not cucumbers that much but same tomatoes. difference. Tomatoes, pickles. Well, you ever been to, okay, yeah, pickles like pickles. Have you ever been celery, stuff like that? Right. Mushrooms. Exactly. Oh, you right. ever been to North Virginia? North Virginia? Mm-hmm. No, I have not. Well, there was a man, he was he was in a grocery store, and he had a video, and they called him, his name is Michael Dwayne Johnson. Oh, goodness. Yeah. Okay. Sounds like somebody I might know. <laughs> yeah, but he had this Michael in front of him. Well, he was pulling down his pants and what? He was rubbing fruit on his butt. I love fruit. Um, he, oh my gosh, Michael! He's now chasing, facing charges of indecent exposure and destruction of property. Mm. And apparently, they had the, the grocery store had to throw away lots of pallets of. <laughs> 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 so he just wine diving on the vegetables. Uh, yeah, let's, let's, let me stroke this lettuce. Uh, let's take it to the report. A man is accused of rubbing his bare behind on produce at a grocery store in northern Virginia before putting the items back on display. That's just messed up. News outlets report 27 year old Michael Dwayne Johnson of Manassas is charged with indecent exposure and destruction of property. I'll say. Matt Uris for CBS Philly. <laughs> dude, dude. <laughs> wow. So. Uh, yeah, like and you said. Where, and where was that at? Virginia? Yeah, Northern Virginia. Yes, they were from wow. their fruit. Um, and yeah, they wouldn't say the store, so, hmm. Hmm. But yeah, news dude was cracking up on that. Yeah. Uh, Messed up. Nobody's eating fruit around there. I mean, it's vegetables. Vegetables, yeah. And he's putting it back. That's yeah, And that's... his name was Michael Dwayne Johnson. And hmm. it was the crazy part is, don't you remember what Rock, when he was wrestling, when we used to say? If you could smell, smell what the rock is <laughs> So he put it back. He wanted y'all to smell. He wanted, hey, he was trying to live up to the name. Yeah, he wanted y'all to smell what he was cooking. If you could smell what the rock <laughs> will have you cooking. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Okay. Uh, we, we we all love to hide money. Right, right, right. I mean, we ain't going to tell you where, but we all do. Everything I got a couple of be... pennies in my sock right now. Okay, okay. Well... This white lady, well, I think she, I don't know, but she's, you tell, truth or dare, I mean, not truth or dare, false or true. You tell me if you believe this situation. Now, tonight, we have a wild story of missing money in Colorado that implicates one of the nation's largest retailers. A certain woman says her life savings disappeared the same day she got a new refrigerator. I know, sounds absurd, but Contact 7 investigative mm-hmm. reporter Ryan Luby is here to help track down some actual cold, hard cash. Mm. We've all heard the joke. Is your refrigerator running? I couldn't believe it wasn't there. But in Thornton, the case involving a runaway refrigerator here is no joke. My assumption is I had about 35,000 in there. Mm. That's a lot of money. It's everything. It was everything. Since the beginning of June, Renee Reese, her family and her friends have been in a battle with Costco to track down cold hard cash. Renee's life savings that she says inadvertently walked out her front door when some delivery people exchanged a defective refrigerator freezer combo for a new one. The financial strain has devastated me (laughs) and because I'm so sick, I don't have any way to You see, Renee has an aggressive form of multiple sclerosis, which is increasingly destroying her mobility. That's why she needed the new refrigerator. You're in here, you're pulling out a large item without a disability, the doors need to stay open. That's also why she used her freezer as a temporary bank. 
for her small business and savings to limit the number of trips she needed to take to the real bank. It was a safe place to put it in case there was a fire. Yet as bad luck would have it, the large denomination bills in a bag wrapped in white paper towels blended with the inside of the freezer door. And in a hurry to clean out the old fridge, Renee and her family simply didn't see it. I thought my daughter had grabbed it. She thought I had grabbed it. Then when I Terrible went to look for system. it yes, exactly. to put it back, it wasn't there. Renee has since filed a police report after tearing apart her house, detailing what happened. She also says Costco opened a claim for her and said they found the old fridge, but there was no money inside. But that was it. Her friend called Contact 7, frustrated that Costco has not done more, has not more aggressively questioned its employees mm -hmm. and the four or five subcontractors involved in delivering Renee's fridge. Who's checking these people? What if you? they're rapists or pedophiles? What or, they have to do with I it? I mean, nobody knows anything, and you can't talk to them. You didn't know anything so At either. least through the experience I've had. Contact 7 put Bad pressure experience. on Costco as well, and it is now investigating what once again, but isn't done. Nothing. In the meantime, <laughs> Renee wants a resolution and wants the armchair critics out there to understand this is not as crazy as it may sound. Oh, yes. So there are also yes, reasons why I couldn't get to the bank. I wasn't physically able to. Really you were living your life. You? I was trying to live whatever no. of it I had left. Now, just the other day, we tracked down the small company that actually handled the exchange, one of Costco's many subcontractors. Uh -huh. Their response, as you might expect, is they have not seen the money either. Right. We'll keep you posted. <laughs> Ryan Luby, Contact 7. So, yes. in other words, it's going to be a cold case. Huh? <laughs> yeah. Right. Yeah, no, I don't believe the chick. I, you don't believe it's lie. Well, let, let, let me go through all, 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 what, what I feel. Yeah, break it down. One, like you say, her check and balance system. Terrible. I thought Rip had it. Rip thought I had <laughs> Who it. Who does that with that much money? Who that's, does that with that much money? That's terrible. Second of all, this is thing, if you, you have a small business, this is a thing called a safe. You can get safes big, tall, small. You can store them in Fire a safe. safe. Yes, exactly. So if you were storing it in the refrigerator for safekeeping, mm, okay. Then third. Because yeah, I have like. Uh, dummy safes. Right, exactly. Because, you know, smart break in and they, they grab the dummy, dummy spend all yeah. their time on a dummy safe. Right. But she's not, she wasn't, she's put in the refrigerator. Her concern was not a robbery, home invasion. Her concern was, her biggest concern to her money was fire. Fire. Yeah, so that means she And she said she safe. kept it in the refrigerator. So that means she lives in a great neighborhood and, and not, it, she good. Right. Her concern was fire, not thievery. Right. Now, when the thieves so, came in, like excuse me. she could have bought the fireproof state, like right. you said. So when the thieves, I mean the delivery guys came in. <laughs> Which one, the rapist? <laughs> yeah, exactly. Or the, or the, or the, or the, the rapist, rapist, pedophile. Yeah, pedophile. Uh, you know. <laughs> Came in, which has nothing to do with... So, yeah, you know. so there's one rich pedophile right now. <laughs> right, exactly. <laughs> My little girl's all over <laughs> <laughs> You want a blow pop? <laughs> nah, <laughs> Let me nah, go get your water right now. Nah, <laughs> now we getting bad for you. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> Stop it. See, this is why I have to keep them under control. Needless to say, now. Nah, that or... Now nah, the, the rape is no longer rapist. He's now a a, a trick. <laughs> right, exactly. He's a John. Yeah, yeah a John. I mean, yeah, uh, yeah, a trick. <laughs> yeah, same difference. Yeah, mm -hmm. the white people call them Johns. Mm -hmm. You know, <laughs> niggas call them tricks. Anyway, uh, nah, I, I I have no empathy and uh, yeah, I I have nothing to say. Let me so stop. You don't right believe there. it. You don't believe it. it. That's what she says. I, I it's hard for me to fathom the story. Yeah. I'm not saying that it's not true. I I'm think just saying. I think her daughter got that shit in. in, 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 in yeah, if like, she really put it in there. But I'm not believing that it yeah. was in there. But if it really was, I think her daughter, daughter got it. Right, exactly. Mm -hmm. And once again, why are you keeping that much money in the refrigerator? Yeah, and then she do got MS. She probably taking them them oxes and, and, and all type of pancakes. Her daughter right. wide open right now. Yeah, wide open. That's when she went to buy some oxes. Yeah. Or some tabs. <laughs> Balls I'm on man. one. Yeah, exactly. Uh, so, though, so we're gonna go with a lie. Ah, uh, yeah, that's a lie. Yeah, it's, it's, uh, it's just straight lie. Um, Florida. You know, there's always some shit happening in Florida. Right, right. So let's right. take it to Florida. Um, this is something I didn't know you could do. Uh oh. But I'm glad to know it now. I think I might do it. But uh, what do you think the laws of being naked is? In Florida, uh, and this in, uh, 
indecent proposal. Indecent uh, exposure. exposure uh, it's a misdemeanor. I mean, like, where can you do it? Where can you do it? Mm. Uh, you can do it on the beach. You can do it in your house. You can't. You can't do it in a public facility you except you for some it, beaches. You can do it outside your house. Yeah, you can do it in your backyard. No, in front yard. As long as you're in your property. Okay, well, I would always say that, the backyard. That I didn't yeah. know. Yeah, because well, it's, it's still your public. It's it, your exactly. domain. Listen to this. A neighbor says they are fed up with their neighbor who does lawn work in the nude. <laughs> yeah. They've called deputies on him several times, but they say there's nothing they can do about it. What? Neighbors say he's always outside. Oh, Com oh we have pictures. The blur it's blurred. Yes, it is blurred. Thank you. Oh, he's completely naked, <laughs> mowing the lawn, washing the car, even doing repairs on his roof. Oh. Deputies tell neighbors, though, as long as he isn't touching himself inappropriately, right. he can't be arrested because he's on his own property. Right. The man denied an on-camera interview. He's shy now, I guess, because he said his family are very private people. If you're private, you know, why are your privates on display? I mean, that's not private at all. That's very public. She wins. What in the... He's walking what? down the house. <laughs> naked. He's naked. Oh, man. Oh, Neighbors say what? they are now going to talk to the man to see if they can work out a compromise. They can work How it out. Even start that a conversation? speedo, I guess? What is the compromise? I don't know. <laughs> that lady said... Yeah. That lady said... That's not very bright. That's not bright. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that, that, one, that one will definitely win. Ten down um, all damn day. Roof work? As long as he's not touching stuff. So what are some mosquitoes going on in the dick of these tight? He's beating himself. <laughs> but not but not all neighbors are mad. I mean some are his was some old I, I clipped together some old some old. He'll be out there working on his car, opens his garage door up, stands there, works on his car, old Camaro he's got in there. It's really, really weird. He's old enough to know that's not right. Everyone says that's just crazy, you know? It is. Have some respect for the neighborhood kids. Kids catch the bus here. It's wrong. I'm not one of those people that have concerns just because it's their way of life and it's on their property and I know it's legal. Some of the man's neighbors are defending his nude antics. They're not taking it off their property, mm -hmm. so I figure what they can do whatever they want to do on their on their land. Amy Canterbury is a mother of six. Her kid's bus stop is across the street from the man's home. She does not see a problem with him letting it all hang out. Literally, they're the nicest people you ever meet and they would give you their clothes if they had them on to give it to you. If they had them <laughs> yeah, on. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> well, maybe, maybe uh, she's the neighbor across the street is very happy to see something she may not have it, whether it's big, small, long, or tall, she may not have anything, and she's just happy to see something. I don't so know. I don't know. Uh, I, I would I would feel kind of awkward if I did have a child, and you know my child is. Uh, they might this. they might need to move the bus stop, or he might need to reserve from bus hours. Right, exactly. Now, see, that's where they may be. Ooh, I almost stepped into that one. Not, nah, but that's but, where they may be able to. I no, but he said as long as he's not touching himself. Is but it it it, but it, it kind of got me when he said he was doing roof work naked. Yeah, <laughs> yeah mess around and uh, yeah. These are things that's not good naked. That, these are things you don't want to see. Yeah, you don't want to change the car. This seems safe. You don't want to work on the car. Yeah, naked that, that car. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's... dick stuck in the fan belt. Yeah, oh. yeah. crank it up. Oh shit! Hold yeah. on, no, no, yeah. yeah. Now this last one, I think this, I think that naked man might be the crazy. But this last one happened a couple weeks ago. Okay. And I got I got to show it to you, but they just released a video of it. But in uh, near Fort Lauderdale, white dude busts into the store with an alligator. I'm gonna think you heard about it. No. Yeah, they just here's the audio, but they just released the video of it. Talk about a wild night. Authorities are investigating after a man brings an alligator into a convenience store. Okay. Oh, wow. Hey man, y'all got beer still? Y'all got beer still? The incident was caught on camera, as you see, and posted on Facebook. The Florida man is seen holding that alligator with its jaws taped shut as he tries to buy beer. The Florida Fish and Wildlife Conservation Commission is investigating. The man says he doesn't remember anything about the night. Mm. Authorities say there are laws protecting alligators from being captured or harmed. Molested. That's what they right, say on the right. side. <laughs> wow. That's what it say on the sides, though, in Florida. It's against the, the Florida statute, the, the one zero zero molestation of alligators. I'm like, molestation? Mm, 
Mm-mm. Yeah, I, I still think the uh, the naked man, the naked man wins hands so he, down. He's the winner. Of the uh, the I think the dude was just being prankful, especially if he already had the mouth. He said he don't remember. He, yeah, he of course. That, that's that's the best thing to say because you don't want to be fucked up with wild. He basically wild ran there with alligator, and he goes in. The, they had like a nice beer cooler. Goes in there, grabs a, a twenty-four pack. Chase, chase, chase somebody around the store because they ran, seen him in Rancid. So then right. he went and got a 24 pack and he took up the counter and he bought his beer. He, got, so yeah. he, he did buy the beer. Like, he still got any beer? Yeah, exactly. So, yeah, nah, nah. I, I think the, the naked man working on the on the roof <clears throat> takes it. Yeah. You know, he he's, but he is such a nice guy. He would give you the clothes off his back <laughs> if he had them. <laughs> yeah. If he he wins. If he had them. If you have any crazy comments, suggestions, anything that you you want us to know about, don't feel shy. In private. <laughs> in private. <laughs> Hit us up, Media Cartel, Mick Show at gmail.com. Drop it in the inbox. If it's inappropriate, address it to Mr. Ripper. Now, nah, let me stop. But uh, hit us up on uh, IG Fan Burst. Please download it. Get it. Put it on your iTunes, any, any device that you do have. You can download it. And listen to it at your convenience. And also, don't forget to go to YouTube. Hit the subscribe, like button, and you too can get all the videos and all the stuff that's going on in the media cartel world. You hear me? Until next time, yours truly, Ozzy Oz, Mr. Ripper, we out.